I like it, guys. I always stay. So for those who, who don't know, I've actually lived in Chiang Mai for more than five years, maybe seven years. But this is my first time staying out here. Here we go. This is it. 200 per day for motorcycle. you guys so I'm gonna be woken up every morning to uh, sound of Muay Thai so I guess I'm doing it whether I want to or not but mostly I want out of the stay here because I wanted to stay in one of these old traditional Thai style teak houses I've always liked these yet somehow I've actually never stayed in one of these I've always kind of been a little bit harder for guys Boko Chiang Mai my hope for the next two weeks So one of the reasons why I wanted to come to Chiang Mai over the holidays is it's a little bit cooler and it'd be nice to kind of uh, feel like, you know, I'm somewhere not on a beach for the holidays. So I'm going to try to have to sleep with this open if I can and not use the AC for a few weeks. If I have the AC, I just put some fan. Let me show you guys around. So here I have a nice big bed. This one actually looks hopefully more comfortable. My last one was like half broken. I couldn't even lay on it properly. Here, a little makeup area, mini fridge, closets. Kind of a standard Thai washroom, but this is actually kind of nice. I like that this is molded. That's actually cool. So, just a one big room, big bed. This is a nice old Thai style kind of wood antique wooden furniture, which I like a lot. And this little sitting area. Yeah, little sitting area. This is nice. Little nook. Oh, this is gonna be so nice with the airflow. screen it's okay one screen's enough i don't need too much airflow open closet Always bring these with you, little hot slippers. Makes every home more cozy. Bag of snacks. This is absolutely unnecessary, but I travel with a couple thin hangers just because it drives me crazy when a place has zero hangers. So I carry four, three. Carry three with me just in case. That's it guys, I'm all done, all done. 
basically moved in. Look at this. Set this up. Laptop here. Guys, I'm here for two weeks. Here's the ultimate test. Let's hope it's good. What do you think it's gonna be? Uh, that's not good so far. No, oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah. Oh, it's fantastic. I don't know why it took a little, little while to wrap up, but chairs. Uh, chairs actually not bad. I like this little, little corner in it. Much bigger room than I had last time. Upload speed is fantastic as well. Freaking love Chiang Mai, love Thailand, guys. Let me show you what I'm paying for two weeks, <laughs> 13 nights. Two weeks, guys, 13 nights. And there's a pool. Well, I'll show that to you in the morning. That's where I'm sitting now. So, I guess slightly more expensive than our house thing. Last time, that last one was just a freaking deal. It was like 11 or $12 a night with a pool it was just way too cheap like I, I don't expect it to ever be that cheap but for what 400 something dollars a month total uh, I think we'd be pretty comfortable here and this bed should be a lot better because the last one was actually kind of broken so that was my only regret uh, and it was also a little bit cramped I couldn't have that much room but here it's much bigger I just wish I had like either a little couch or like a tie you know those tie couches those tie floor couches I don't know. I might almost even buy one because I think they're only like 300 baht or something. And if I'm gonna be for two weeks, it'd be nice. But let's figure that out in the morning. Let me uh, walk around, get, maybe get some food, get some shut eye. I'll give you the rest of the tour in the morning. But welcome to Chiang Mai. Well, guys, I realized it's Saturday and it's my favorite night market of the week. So it'd be kind of a shame if I don't go because I'm actually very close to it. It's either be a 20 minute walk or maybe like a three minute drive or something. So instead of calling a taxi, I decided to get a taxi motorbike. <laughs> Just cause I think it'll be faster. There'll be a lot of traffic near the uh, night market. It'd be cool if it was one of these, but it's not. It's, just, uh, it's supposed to be a 110 Super Cub, which is a tiny old school kind of retro bike, I think. <laughs> Sorry, cop. Uh, Wu Lai Night Market Chai, cop. So guys, welcome to the Wu Lai Sarah Night Market. Oh, I haven't been here in years. 
I used to come here every single Saturday, like almost without miss. They had great food. I like walking around. It would get really crowded during high season, actually, which is probably tonight. Uh, but it doesn't seem that bad right now. Maybe this is late. Here's some of my favorite food here. Here's some gyoza, some uh, pork dumplings, sumai, and these sticks, these barbecue sticks. It's nice today. You can walk around without too many people. Let's see a couple new items too. There was no kimchi before. <laughs> that night market in Jomtin, Tena Passat, became my new favorite one because it had so much a variety of food that I haven't seen in other places. But it's been a few years since I've been here, so maybe they've stepped up their game as well. Let's see. They've always had waffles. Uh, juice things. <laughs> this way to keep make ice the uh, drinks cold. It's kind of smart. But yeah, definitely a lot more empty this year. At least at this time. Wow, it's much cheaper here too. What a cup. Uh, avocado smoothie with uh, coconut milk, uh, my my own uh, no cow milk. Okay, no. I, I have cow milk. Only cow milk. Can you do uh, no cow milk? Okay, no milk. No milk. Okay. So we have these huge, beautiful avocados. Look at this. Dinosaur avocados. This is going to throw in some coconut shreds. <laughs> Ice and some uh, water. Up. Punaka, thank you. Fantastic. And it, this is like 20 baht cheaper, 10 baht cheaper than Jumpton. So far, we're winning. And so far, I've heard a lot of European accents and no Russians. It's kind of a nice change of pace, guys. Nice, uh, normal, international crowd, diverse. Unfortunately, it's about 10.30, so some places are already closing. Maybe that's why it's not that busy. Yeah, I want one of these. Um, how, how big yeah, am I? Uh, Oh, okay, for me, can Okay, Okay, this looks like the food center. So they got. All this weird stuff that no one actually eats except for tourists. What the hell is this? Come on, guys. Grilled crocodile. This is what I don't like about all of these gimmicky places. People just come here to drink beer and eat like gimmicky uh, fried scorpions that no one ever actually eats in real life. The tele crepes are more like it. Oh, look at that ice cream. Some gyoza fried. Oh, beautiful. Squid things. Some 
lifetime music. A lot of these places are closed now. I got here a little bit late. I feel like we're in like some Aladdin's uh, place. This brass ring. What are they looking for? Oh, oh wow, this is one. It's very cool. We can taste nine of these with all we can make a nine of Okay, come cup. What are they what are they looking for? Yeah. Like a fry, thin fry. Ah. Uh, thin fry says. Thin fry like that. Oh, uh, one wing, one PPE. Okay. Two wing, one PPE. Oh, super super. Okay, yeah. couple cup. Thank you very much. Like sifting through this, like it's a treasure hunt. I have no idea what they're looking for, but they're looking for something. We have all these different rares. Like it really reminds me of like back in the day, like some Aladdin day, you know. Well, so guys, I didn't end up getting any food. Uh, I remember I didn't like this food court. Like, even even three years ago, I never liked it. So I hope there's no food down there because if there's not, I'm screwed for the night. Yeah. I remember that one being like the gimmicky tourist one. Oh, here's another Satchitam seat food and handmade idea market. Okay. Ah, oh. here we go, guys. So this is a little more, more chill and calm. I like these little seats they have down here too. I don't think I'm gonna go hungry tonight, guys. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about Johnny. Oh, there's a big potato. Tacos, I used to never see tacos. Uh, they, don't, they don't look very authentic though. Seafood feast in here. Oh, Guys, I might just order something a la carte because it's so late. The food's probably been sitting out all day, so I'm gonna get something here. Let's see what I want. Fried rice. This one's not mine, this is theirs. I think they got something. Matching the uh, outfits. Pedaloi, set <laughs> Oh, nice, guys. Be tasty, tasty. Not bad. They pre they pre cook the chicken to make it faster because they have a busy line. 
the fire there wasn't hot enough for some reason. But overall, so good. But we can do better. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say my stomach will be something better. Guys, I don't know if I've ever thrown away food. I love food and I'm hungry. Like, that was really not tasty. That's probably the worst Thai food I've ever had <laughs> in my life. Unfortunately. Oh. So far, I'm not having the best experience. I keep up with the YouTube channel every okay. once in a while. I donated to your pain card last oh, year. Oh, appreciate it. Thank you. Doing it. But uh, yeah, I thought I saw something on Facebook that you doing the uh, Nomad uh, Summit. I thought yeah. about it. I decided to Yeah. It's, it's a lot of work. Yeah, yeah. You need to, you need to chill out. Guys, look who I just bumped into. Chris Watts too. <laughs> I was worried that I would come here and not know one, no one. I'd be all alone because Chris is not coming anymore. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm incognito. I'm yeah. <laughs> I'm in the I hide out a lot. <laughs> well, you're still here though. Ninjas are here. Ninjas are here. So I'm the DL. Yeah. Let, let's see who else we bump into uh, in town. <laughs> all right. Well, the places are definitely closed now. So that's it, guys. We saw a little glimpse of the Saturday night market, but definitely not all of it. Did get to see some old friends though, for an old friend. It's always nice. I have this delicious, what do you call it? La Chong. La Chong. La Chong. For a little dessert. All right guys, I'm gonna try this uh, coconut, tapioca with coconut cream drink. Say it again. Lord Chong, Lord Chong. Very good. Delicious. Aloy Mak. <laughs> Found some uh, hot food. So I'm gonna get five of these and probably one of those beef sticks. Four of these. Tasty snack. Glad I kept some room in my stomach for something good, and tasty, versus that uh, terrible stir fry. So, I think that's it. Guys, I'm gonna call a cab, head home, get some sleep. See you guys tomorrow for day two of my two week venture in Chiang Mai. It's gonna be a little bit of traffic get out of here though. We'll figure which way is the best way out. That's it. Decided to walk home. It's only 15 minutes. And should be pretty quiet and safe. We're in Chiang Mai after all. It's so quiet here. It's crazy. <laughs>